I believe that this nation should commit itself to achieving the goal before this decade is out of landing a man on the moon and returning him safely to the earth. In a very real sense, it will not be one man going to the moon. If we make this judgment affirmatively, it will be an entire nation. For all of us must work to put him there. President John F. Kennedy's stirring speech to Congress more than 60 years ago dared the country to send astronauts to the moon. It's been half a century since the last moon landing, but a new effort is now underway. Here's Gio Benitez on NASA's new push. That's America's challenge of today has forged man's destiny up to Mars. It's been 50 years since the American astronauts of Apollo 17 last stepped foot on the moon. NASA this week, one giant leap closer to sending humankind back after Apollo's sister program, Artemis, successfully sent its Orion spacecraft on a nearly month-long journey, breaking the record for distance traveled by a human-rated spacecraft 270,000 miles from Earth. It's been fantastic in terms of being able to show where our spacecraft is and, and taking a few pictures to, to tell the audience how wonderful it is to be so far from Earth. Pictures like this, Orion's selfie with the moon and Earth, a flashback to this iconic photo known as Blue Marble. Like Apollo 17 splashed down 50 years ago, Orion slated to do the same off the coast of Baja in just a few hours. Flight engineers are attempting a so-called skip entry, where the spacecraft, traveling at 25,000 miles per hour, will hit Earth's atmosphere, skip like a rock off of it back into space, and re-enter to splash down at a precise target. The maneuver will help NASA protect astronauts returning to Earth by minimizing recovery time. We rise together back to the moon and beyond. If all goes well, the next flight planned, Artemis II in 2024, would include astronauts orbiting the moon. And Artemis III, tentatively slated for 2025, would fulfill NASA's goal of putting a woman and a person of color on the surface of the moon. Victor Glover is an astronaut hoping to be assigned to an Artemis mission. When humans yeah. do great things, we call them moonshots. And now our generation has a moonshot. It's a really exciting time. As NASA moves forward with the Artemis program, a new space race is emerging. A Japanese billionaire, Yusaka Miyazawa, announced this week a crew of eight astronauts to go to the moon with him optimistically next year. Years from now, how far do you hope Orion will go? Well, you know, I, I, Orion is a very important part of our overall transportation infrastructure. So it'll carry as, as, as far as, as I, I hope we need to go. And certainly the moon is the first step. And we always talk about beyond. And our thanks to Gio for that. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.